Hello YouTube and everybody that follows me in the different social media platforms where I publish my videos. It's been a long time. Um, I recorded a video. Uh, I have not been uh, doing that much music lately, so uh, I'm trying to come back to it. Uh, hopefully I will be able to uh, produce a, one video a month at least. Um, so yeah, so I'm happy to be back and uh, what we're going to be doing today is uh, we're gonna be reviewing a guitar. Yeah, so we're gonna review this uh, beautiful instrument. It is a uh, Epiphone Les Paul Studio 2003. I got this guitar uh, as a gift. Uh, so thank you, Paul, for this beautiful instrument. Uh, so we're going to be reviewing it and playing and checking the different uh, sound options we get with the pickups. So. So yeah, so uh, if you are a guitar geek, uh, beware that I'm going to be talking about basic stuff about uh, Gibson and Epiphone guitars, so you might want to skip uh, this part. Uh, most of the people that follow me are not really musicians, uh, well there are a few, but most of the people don't really know too much about guitars, so I'm going to give you some background information on what, what is Epiphone and this particular guitar. So, to give you an idea, uh, Les Paul was a famous uh, guitarist, and um, Gibson started making a signature guitar for him, the Les Paul guitar. So, uh, this is an Epiphone uh, uh, guitar, it's not a Gibson. The difference is that uh, Epiphones are made uh, overseas. This one is uh, made in China. So, Gibsons are made in USA, um, Epiphone was an independent manufacturer of uh, instruments uh, back in the day and it was acquired by Gibson. So Gibson started making cheap versions of their American made Les Paul uh, and you know to, to allow people to have uh, you know a budget friendly guitar that resembles a, a real Les Paul. So this one is a uh, and a studio version, so to, uh, the difference between a studio and Les Paul standard is that the standard has a top. So this guitar, you can see, it's, it's just kind of solid here. It doesn't have any any top in it, So, which is awesome in the sense that it's lighter. It's super light guitar. It's one of the lightest guitars I ever uh, have. So, uh, so yeah, so the standard has a top, a maple top that is more expensive, obviously. And it's, uh, it has more finishes, uh, more options for in terms of colors and and, and paint uh, and the designs. Uh, so, so the the idea is that if you are a studio musician and you wanna play in a studio, record some tracks, you don't care how how your guitar looks, you don't care how ugly or beautiful it is. I mean, I mean your sound engineer is not gonna mind that much. So. Yeah, you don't want to pay an extra a thousand dollars for for a fancy maple top uh, finish. So, so that's why they start producing the studio version, which is basically the same instrument without the beautiful uh, maple top and all the, those extra little uh, you know fancy touches. So, but it's basically the core is the same instrument. Um, so yeah, it's the same for. Epiphone and Gibson. So Gibson has a, a studio version and a standard version, the same with Epiphone. So this is a, a one of the cheapest you can get from Epiphone uh, because it's not a standard, obviously. Uh, uh, so I don't know how much this guitar was uh, in 2003. Uh, right now they go around 399 US dollars, uh, which is a, a pretty pretty good price for for this kind of guitar. I mean it's, it's, it's a beautiful finish. Uh, this one is like, as you know 2003 is like it's been I don't know how many owners it had but it is a very very good condition. I, I barely see any scratches or anything. So so yeah so I don't know how much they paid for this initially uh, but it's a beautiful sunburst finish uh, that uh, it's one of my favorite finishes. Uh, famous guitarist at Playlist Paul, Slash is one of the 
the biggest uh, uh, ones out there, and he he tend he tend to use uh, the sunburst uh, finish a lot. If you look at the '90s Guns N' Roses tours, you'll see Slash uh, using a guitar pretty much like this uh, this one in terms of the color and the finish. Um, so yeah, so Gibson and uh, Epiphone, they are they both make less balls, but there's obviously a, a quite quite a difference in in terms of pricing. Uh, this, the components of this guitar are, are made overseas. The, the, basically, the, the entire guitar is made overseas. Uh, they have different Epiphone Les Paul options that are pricier than this guy. So you can get, uh, they have a Tribute Plus edition of the Epiphone Les Paul that goes uh, around $800. And that one has uh, some made in USA components like the Humbuckers. Both the humbuckers using that Epiphone are the ones used in the Gibson uh, uh, guitars. So there's multiple options, and you can basically go crazy uh, reading the specs of these guitars. But there's an option for everybody, and this is a fascinating time to be a musician, even to start uh, learning to play guitar. Or if you're a kid right now, you have so many options. When I grew up, uh, we didn't have that many options. You can you could either buy a very expensive high-end guitar or buy the cheapest guitar, but you know that the quality was going to be there. wasn't going to be there. It was going to be a crappy instrument. You will get disappointed. Um, you need an instrument that allows you to be inspired to play. Even if you you suck, and even if you're learning and you're struggling, having a you know a nice instrument to play is a, an extra for you to just go and pick it up and, and, and keep improving and, and moving forward. So so yeah, so if you if you have been procrastinating learning to play, this is the right time. It's just it's just so many options. I mean this guy is gorgeous. I mean like from far away I, I, I could swear it's a Gibson guitar. Uh, but it's just it's pretty and, and it's a great sound so we're gonna get it plug in and, and play in a in a in a bit so you can get an idea so so yeah so I'm I'm like actually jealous right now because I start playing with a cheap fifty dollar classical guitar made in Taiwan back in in the early nineties and that's that's all I got. Uh, now you go to Guitar Center, you go sweet sweet water and you see so many different options. There was a guy that bought just as a test a one hundred dollar guitar, electric guitar to see how good are the cheapest guitars you can get right now. And he was blown away by, by the quality. Obviously it's like the quality is not has a top end, it's not like the best wood, the best materials and, and electronics. But it was a very decent guitar with a good sound for any anybody that want, wants wants to start learning to play uh, some music. So so yeah so yeah nice nice guitar and uh, we're gonna we're gonna go now and check it out uh, how it sounds. Thank you. 
Well, so there you go. Um, very nice guitar for for the the price. Uh, I don't really like nitpicking on on budget guitars. Mm -hmm. If I had to say something, on the clean, the high high E string sounds has a kind of metallic sound. Not the best sound, but it might be it might be an issue with the with the frets or might need a setup. So so yeah, so amazing quality. For, for a cheap instrument. Uh, so yeah, so st stay tuned for more videos. I actually filmed a couple of drum covers uh, last week and uh, I have been I'm working on producing them and I'm almost done with those. So those are gonna be uh, published uh, early early this year. Uh, so yeah, there's a, I have like a long list of uh, uh, songs that I, have, I, I wanna do. Some of them have been personal favorites, some of them have been people requesting me. So I'm gonna have both drums uh, and guitars, and sometimes we're gonna have drums and guitars, sometimes it's gonna be me playing the entire band. Uh, yeah, so I'm glad to be back. Uh, by the way, Happy New Year to you and your families. I hope it's a great one for you. Uh, so great health, great fortune, and good luck. See you in the next one.